what does Georgia expect now from uh, Vilnius and what are your expectations for the way ahead? Thank you. First of all, thank you. Uh, I would like to thank the organizers of this conference, which uh, gives me the chance to share our views uh, with you and to speak about Georgia's expectations. You started or you ended with the question, what will be in Vilnius? Who will come to Vilnius and what will be there? So I can answer very shortly this question. Georgia will come to Vilnius and Georgia hopes to initial the association agreement. What uh, we did is that we finished the work on the text of association agreement uh, already in July and we hope very much that the technical procedures in Europe uh, will, these months which are left until Vilnius will be enough to uh, make uh, ready the text for initialing. This is our hope because uh, as we said several times, I mean the current government, the European and Euro-Atlantic choice is the choice of the Georgian people because we share the values on which the European Union and NATO are based and we think that the process of uh, integration is uh, sometimes more important than the goal which we want to achieve because if we fulfill the criteria for the uh, European and Euro-Atlantic integration uh, we will have in the end the country we desire, a country which is free, uh, which is based on democratic principles, where human rights are protected, where the judiciary is free, where the democratic institutions are strong, and where the economy is free. And then uh, I think uh, it will be a natural and normal process of more integration into the European and Euro-Atlantic structures. Um, this is uh, what we expect in Vilnius uh, and uh, we hope very much that our partners see uh, the progress achieved by Georgia in the same way as we. This is our expectation. And then after Vilnius, we of course um, hope to sign the association agreement as soon as possible, maybe in Riga or maybe before, and to continue our way uh, to Europe. It's very simple. And uh, Mr. Kubilius described very good the situation and the pressure from Russia is very obvious. In this situation, we need more support from the European Union. We need more strong, uh, stronger signals from the European Union that the Eastern Partnership is something very serious for the European Union itself. I always say that Europe should see us not as neighbors of Europe, but as a European neighbors and open the European perspective for countries like Georgia because this is our only way and this is, if you want, our red line when we speak with Russia and I'm sure many people here are interested in our relationship with Russia. You know that after the coalition Georgian Dream won the elections, the Prime Minister declared that one of the priorities of our foreign policy is to improve the relationship with Russia, but without uh, damaging the national interests uh, of Georgia and without questioning the foreign uh, orientation of Georgia, which is, as I said, European and Euro-Atlantic integration. We try to improve this relationship, but it's not easy. Uh, we have some progress, some positive dynamics in the trade uh, economy, and humanitarian, also cultural uh, issues, but uh, we have no progress, for example, in Geneva, where we discuss with Russia the issues of security, the fulfillment of ceasefire agreement from August 2008, when we discuss the return of IDPs and refugees to their homes. Uh, we are very thankful to the European Union because they play a very important role in Geneva because uh, they maintain the EUMM, EU Monitory Mission uh, in Georgia, uh, which is the only international instrument uh, to monitor the situation, uh, unfortunately not in the occupied regions, but uh, um, on the occupation line. Um, and uh, of course the uh, support from the European Union, the support of the European way of uh, Georgia is an important signal uh, towards Russia too and we need to strengthen this signal. This is what we think uh, before Vilnius. Uh, but um, 
Georgia is uh, still occupied by Russia. 20% of our territories are occupied. Uh, the, um, Russia uh, recognized the independence uh, of South Ossetia and Abkhazia, and um, some other countries uh, did the same. Uh, and our policy is to continue the non-recognition policy, and we are also very thankful to the European Union, which supports the non-recognition policy of uh, occupied uh, territories of Georgia, and uh, for the support in the IDP resolution in the General Assembly of UN. So it means that uh, European Union is the major player in uh, our region uh, for Georgia, and uh, it's a very natural desire of the Georgian people and, of course, of the Georgian government to come closer uh, to the European Union. These are our expectations. There are some more concrete, for example, on visa liberalization, uh, which is an important issue for us, uh, for DCFTA, which is an integral part of the association agreement. And we hope that after uh, Vilnius, everything what we will agree in Vilnius uh, will become effective and will start functioning. And uh, the main principle of uh, the integration to get more for more is something very important. So what we need is the recognition of the progress made by Georgia, made by the Georgian government, and uh, adequate reaction from the European Union. And a strong signal that uh, this way, uh, this European way of Georgia is accepted and welcomed by the European Union too.